This is your weekly wrap up for Friday, May 24th, 2024. Thanks for joining in and we appreciate it. We pray you had a blessed and busy productive week. <clears throat> this week's shows we did Lynette Zhang, <clears throat> Mr. QC, the whistleblower for Boeing, <clears throat> David Mahoney, and Rod Steele. Uh, Denise Bowen unfortunately had some illnesses as well as some family graduation commitments for some of her children. And also Nick was traveling this week from uh, Miami back to London. So we've had to reschedule them for June, but we will reconvene with them then. <clears throat> Excuse me, next week's shows, we're taking a bit of a hiatus as it's the end of the month. We're coming back strong in June for a condensed summer podcast of uh, a fresh lineup and some returning guests as well, uh, given how close we are to the finish line. Now into the headline news. Disney's Pixar is laying off 14% of its workforce as they scale back content. ITV set to make dozens of layoffs. TikTok planning to cut hundreds of jobs amidst a wave of tech industry layoffs. Nevada industry is reeling from the impact of Tesla's 700 plus job cuts. <clears throat> Kona Grill suffering from 14% reduction in foot traffic as 9.7% uh, as a result of 9.7% of lost sales revenue for the quarter. Tufts Medicine lays off 174 workers. Stars Financial reports that this financial crisis will be on record as the worst depression the world has ever known. Former diversity manager at Facebook and Nike is sentenced for orchestrating a multi-million dollar fraud. Barbara Furlow Smiles, a former diversity manager at Facebook and Nike has been sentenced to prison for orchestrating multi-million dollar fraud schemes. Her elaborate tactics involved fake invoices and kickbacks exploiting the very companies that entrusted her. <clears throat> Excuse me, according to Bloomberg, VF Corporation, the owner of Vans, Dickies, and Timberland brands reported a loss in a seventh consecutive quarter of failing sales, sending the shares down sharply when late trading. According to the National Association of Realtors, home sales are down roughly 2% in April with an expected increase in the upcoming months to come with no end in sight. <clears throat> WWE is starting to lay off employees. Under Armour continues to lay off hundreds of employees in anticipation of the lowest sales in North America in the company's history. The House passed yesterday an anti-CBDC bill that will be enacted at a later date. Tennessee legislature passes an anti-DARPA chemtrail weather bill that will be enacted July 1st. Now on to the uh, <clears throat> actual commodities, hard commodities, gold, is up slightly today at 234360 at the time of this podcast. Silver holding steady at $30.28. Brent crude oil 81.82. Now realize, folks, that uh, some of the downturn in the numbers for gold, silver, and oil are a result of some sell offs of profit. Also, the banks are doing their last attempt to slam down these commodities, but they will <clears throat> inevitably continue to come back up stronger, especially now that silver has surpassed the $30 threshold. Unfortunately, we have some notable deaths and <clears throat> resignations. Uh, David Sanborn, legendary saxophonist and six-time Grammy Award winner, dies at 78. Legendary actor and, Graham, and um, Tony M M Emmy Award winner Dabney Coleman passes at 92. Ivan Boski, most known for his insider trading scams on Wall Street, passes at 87. And this one is not so unfortunate. Klaus Slob, the leader of the evil World Economic Forum, steps down from his post. Now, you can debate whether this was the real one or not, and if this was the stand-in, but again, <clears throat> most of the society does not know that and needs to see something optically for them to understand what we have already known has been transpiring for quite some time. This is also very important and interesting. CEO of JP Morgan Chase, Jamie Dimon, plans to step down as well amidst the largest amount of hirings for wealth managers in bank history. <clears throat> I think we know what that's about. A uh, cage warrior featherweight Connor Hitchens dead at 26. Great British Olympic hero David Wilkie dies at age 70. So we pray for their families as well during this difficult time. Now on to the commentary <clears throat> that, uh, that I want to release for you for the week, talking to my audience specifically. Uh, some terse comments were made as a result of us releasing the health and wellness video regarding Suzanne Holt and Gus Moyer. I want to be clear for those of you who are new to the channel, those of you who have been here a while should know this, but sometimes we need to have a reprise. Once again, this channel does not solely belong to me. It is Chris's exclusive property. He's had this channel. I'm a tenant on the channel for this season of the wealth transfer. That being said, he reserves the right to conduct it how he sees fit. 
He chose to release the contact details within Club Patriot in order to give exclusivity to the product and healers, respectively. Additionally, the whole point of Club Patriot and Merle World, as I've said before, is to create a private channel to get away from bots and trolls and commercials, which none of you like, neither do we. Uh, we have also had, as you know, somebody cloning our channels on X and Facebook, which is not us, which further exacerbates the problem. This was the overall main reason for privatizing a channel, as well as giving you exclusive access to uh, some of us and some of the subject matter experts as well. <clears throat> Chris and I will be doing a, a video in June that reiterates this process and uh, answers any other questions that you have brought up during this time. Additionally, the currency dealer is Chris's primary channel. I do not run that. I do not have any ownership of that. I don't deal with the customers. It has nothing to do with me. Um, we merely provide a link and you guys decide what you want to do, but I'm not integrally involved in the day-to-day -day operations of that, of either the channel as far as um, you know, real world and club Patriot or uh, the currency purchases. I, I don't have anything to do with that. So I want to be clear about that. So I, I cannot answer any uh, questions or delivery uh, fulfillment issues. That's not me. But do you realize folks, once again, not everybody lives in America. Other countries don't get to enjoy the benefits that we get to experience as Americans of having several currency options from treasury backed dealers. They only have a few options. So we're not just catering to America, we're catering to the whole of the entire world. So before you comment on that, please bear that in mind. <clears throat> Finally, somebody made a comment about us vetting our guests. I can assure you, we vet our guests extremely well. What we don't do is control, coach, or lead in any way. As many of you have noticed, we bring on guests that are subject matter experts in their respective fields, primarily financial, but we don't coach or steer or lead them in any way. We allow them to speak. We don't interrupt them. We don't always agree with them. And they don't always agree with us, but that's not the point. It's to have a healthy dialogue on the facts at hand so that you folks can get the best breadth and depth of information so that you can draw your own conclusions and protect your families accordingly. So if a guest says something that resonates with you, fine. If not, that's fine too. Just leave it for someone else. It isn't all about you. It's about the collective of the community. It's not about any one subscriber. Once again, it's about what benefits all of us. So let's remain positive and once again, help each other lock arms and cross the finish line together in victory. For that is really what the purpose of this is ultimately about. That does it for this week's wrap up. If anything major comes out as always, we'll let you know. Otherwise have a great safe uh, and memorable Memorial holiday weekend as we remember our troops that have fought so val valiantly to help our country become what it will become again, a restored Republic. Thanks again. Have a great weekend. God bless.